Well, thanks for giving me a lot to live up to. <laughs> so we're going to start with a little bit of audience participation. How many people out here actually know someone who's transgender? Show of hands. Oh, look, a lot of you. This make my job a lot easier. Well, my name is Sarah Kabakoff. My preferred pronouns are she, her, and hers. And now at least all, at least every one of you know at least one person who's transgender. Did you know that Ohio has the largest, fastest growing LGBT population in the US? Pretty crazy, right? Heartland Trans Wellness operates a community center in Mount Auburn right now. We have significantly outgrown that location. That's what brings me here today. With your help, we can open a new location. This new location will have a dual focus. When you walk through our doors, you'll get primary care, mental health care, and a fully operating community center. Twenty-seven percent of transgender people have been denied health care simply for being transgender. More than 50% of the doctors out there lack the education to take care of their transgender patients. If a provider doesn't have the proper education, the patient can be subjected to dangerous drug interactions and outright discrimination. I lost my provider back uh, was maybe a year and a half ago in February, and I was on the search for a new one, and I was at this one particular doctor's office, and this doctor who was supposed to be competent told me that if I didn't want to marry a man, I wasn't allowed to have treatment. That's a true story. I left that office in tears that day. Our mental health facility will be inclusive of families, because when an individual transitions, or family transitions too. Our center will offer community education and individual wellness. We're going to empower transgender individuals with opportunity, job training, life skills, and so much more. Transgender people experience unemployment at 15% versus 5% of the general population. When we are employed, 20% of us make less than $15,000 a year compared to just 4% of the general population. 78% of us have experienced harassment or outright assault in a public, loca in a public facility. 41% of transgender people attempt suicide as opposed to just 1.6% of the general population. <laughs> With all these things going on, the only thing we're talking about is bathrooms. We've developed a strong team, medical professionals, project managers, and even a city councilman. But you know what? We're not alone in this fight. These are just a few of our partners who have entrusted us to lead the way for transgender equality. Key partners like Children's Hospital and the VA are excited to extend their services to our new location. This new location will have a massive impact on the city of Cincinnati. You know, we'll, the transgender individuals will um, will reduce a, will experience a reduced suicide rate. The city of Cincinnati itself will appear as a welcoming and opening open community. The healthcare system in the Hamilton County District will see a reduced strain. Oh, and by the way, with Cincinnati looking like such a nice place to come and very inclusive, maybe we'll attract some of those events North Carolina's lost. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a lot of money. So, this center can be partially funded with medical reimbursement, educational trainings, and consulting for HR companies. So how can you help? How can you get involved? Well, remember we started this adventure by walking through doors. <laughs> well, we need the building attached to those doors. 
Hopefully that building will be centrally located somewhere on a bus line. And we're also seeking $500,000 in uh, capital and the first year's operating expenses. So thank you very much for being here and giving me a few minutes of your time. I really appreciate it. Um, with your help, we can change the world.